Looking back at my old armors, what was I thinking? What's with the pointy mass and those discs on the hips? That just makes no sense. Am I trying to protect my hips from dancing? That's it. I've had enough of you. Hope you got the point. Don't with the classics. It's your Iron Man toys at BigBadToysStore.com Love you kids. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Iron Man 3 Marvel Legends Classic Iron Man. Now this figure, sadly, just like the Iron Patriot, was just a repaint retool of a previous release figure, which was the classic Iron Man that we got with the Marie Hill Iron Man Marvel Legends 2-pack. Now, it is uh, different. It does have a new head, and the accessory, which I'll get into, was the extra head of the original figure. But, um... Yeah, you can definitely see the reds and the golds are different. It definitely has a new paint and the new head. This was the Proto Classic armor, the pointier mass, and like the uh, angry Iron Man head. And you can see the repulsor on this one uh, isn't really bright. It's kind of like a beige skin tone color compared to the yellowish color of this one. So, but yeah, the red I do like on this one better than the classic one, but the I do like the shinier, like the gold on this one better. So, yeah, if it had this red and this gold, I think Sherman's Prime Minister, then I totally agree. This red and this gold would be perfect. But anyway, going back into it, uh, you've seen this figure before from it, you know, it has the classic, you know, discs on the hips. Discs on the hips. That sounds bad. Anyway, um, but yeah, like the boots, pretty, uh, it's pretty standard sculpted, it's just the classic, you know, old school Iron Man armor. But I do like the head sculpt a lot, and uh, this doesn't have the extra hands like this one had. For articulation, Iron Man's head can fully rotate, it's on a hinge ball joint, so it can move up pretty nicely for flight poses, move down. Uh, the arms can um, rotate fully as well as go in and out, rotate the bicep and then two points at the elbow, rotate at the wrists as well as going out. Has a nice out crunch that goes back and forward pretty nicely, as well as full waist articulation. The legs are ball joint hips that um, can go forward and back, but you have to rotate them so and to go in and out. They also rotate the other part of the leg, then at two points at the knee, and the ankles fully rotate as well as pivot forward and back, but no ankle pivot side to side. Iron Man does come with an accessory, an extra helmet head, which um, is the same head as the classic Iron Man we got from the Murray Hill. Iron Man uh, two pack, um, but with that paint that matches this one, so that's cool. That if you missed out on this one, uh, you can make that figure if you bought like two of these. So that's really cool. Or it's like it doesn't have to be a variant; you can choose either or. Iron Man also comes with the right leg of Iron Monger. You know how awesome this dude is. He's definitely worth getting just to complete this guy. Prepare to meet your doom, Tony. My suit is more advanced in every way, and your suit has discs on the hips. What is that for? Why y'all looking at my hips, Obadiah? You know my hips don't lie. This is coming from a guy that has an antenna on the shoulder. At least I get HBO. Size comparison time. So here you can see the classic Iron Man compared to like the Bleeding Edge and the Mark 42 Iron Man. Um, it is slightly smaller than them. One uh, many complaints about this armor even back in the two pack was that it was not as bulky as tall as it could be for being a classic armor. I totally agree. It should be a little bit bigger and bulkier as you can see how big it is compared to the Iron Monger. Of course this is just a repaint remold of the two pack armor. So if you have that figure you're not you know what to expect with this one just with a different head. Now if you did miss out on that figure, buying this is still working for it to add to your Iron Man armory or like Hall of Armor or just the complete uh, Iron Monger, which is, I've said before, totally worth it. Um, I do wish that we did get a different armor, like like I said, the movie Mark 7 armor from the Avengers. I cannot believe Hasbro has yet to make a figure of that from one of the biggest movies of all time, but whatever. Uh, so, um, I like it, you know, of course, like the things I've said before about this uh, figure. Wish that it was bulkier or taller, or had ankle pivot, but still not a bad figure at all. It looks very nice. I do like the paint a lot. Like I said, so even um, even if you have this figure ready, just to have the the new look, the proto classic look, uh, and to complete Iron Monger, I definitely recommend it. For more geek news, reviews, podcasts, and more, go to bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long. Remember, celebrate your home in a big way. Go to bkbn.net. Go to bkbn.net. Go to bkbn.net.
Classic me.